Today, we will talk about decoupling in finance. Decoupling in financial markets occurs when the returns of one asset class no longer move in the expected pattern of correlation with others. For example, oil and natural gas prices, which typically rise and fall together, might decouple if oil moves in one direction while natural gas moves in the opposite direction. In the investment realm, correlation measures the relationship between two or more assets. A higher correlation number denotes a stronger sync between investments. For portfolio managers and investors, understanding correlations helps in creating diversified portfolios. This way, when one asset value falls, the other investments in the portfolio don't have to follow the same path. Markets and economies that once moved together can also be decoupled. After the 2008 financial crisis, the argument for decoupling indicated that emerging markets, such as China, India, Russia, and Brazil, have become sizable markets on their own for goods and services, and would be able to withstand a faltering U.S. economy. Recoupling describes a situation of increasing correlation between two assets or markets, usually after a period of temporary decoupling. For example, the relationship between natural gas prices and crude oil saw a period of decoupling due to technological innovation, and later started to recouple. Decoupling can also refer to the relationships between non-economic factors, such as education, health, and human development. Economists also distinguish between different degrees of decoupling, including absolute and relative decoupling. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Decoupling is when the returns of an asset class that have been correlated with other assets in the past no longer move in step according to expectations. 2. Decoupling may also refer to a disconnect between a country's investment market performance and the state of its underlying economy. 3. Investors can view a decoupling as an opportunity if they believe that the previous pattern of correlation will return, but there is no guarantee that it will. 4. Many sustainable development economists also advocate for decoupling economic growth from environmental pressures, i.e., finding ways to achieve growth without increasing environmental consequences. 5. Relative decoupling refers to a decreasing correlation between two assets, while absolute decoupling means a zero or negative correlation. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.